Now, to hollow, there are two things. One, this side of the tool hasn't been used yet. So we're hollow, we've got a sharp tool. Okay, it's all dull from this side. You can see right here that the tool is still sharp, but see all that uh, gunk that's built on from the wet wood. What we'll do is we'll have the bottom edge of the bevel pointing straight in, make our entry cut, and bring the wood right to the, or bring the tool around. So we're cutting right at the bottom center. Now, when I get down the bottom, we're going kind of straight into the end grain, so I want to take that cut in two passes. Now, does everybody see how I'm holding that tool? I don't have this depth grip on there, okay? That depth grip... <laughs> the depth grip keeps you from moving the tool fluidly. Okay, I switched to a sharp tool. Now, all the cuts, we make that entry, the flutes like that, and then once we get in, we turn it up to about 45. And as we come down into the bottom of the bowl, I slow my advancing the tool down because the wood's not coming by as fast. And I play a little game here. What I want to do is catch that little bit of wood in the flute. Okay, we didn't catch it that time. But if you think about catching that little bit of wood in the flute, It'll just slow you down, okay? And you won't dig a hole down there. <laughs> 